guides or steps in making an investigatory project. What is an investigatory project? This is a type of project that requires students to develop a question about something in science and technology and investigate that question using the steps of the scientific method. The project is something that takes a good amount of time. This is not something that can be done in one day or over the course of a couple of weekends because a typical investigatory project will take up to four to eight weeks depending on the project itself and includes multiple steps to complete it. There are several parts of the scientific method and most of you must be familiar with the steps through laboratory experiments but still you do not go into great detail with explanations so the following should be followed as you work on your projects. Number one, select a topic. First, select a topic to research on. Think about something that interests you. You can select any science-related topics you want to study or learn about. One of your resources is your teacher. Consult your teacher for approval. After selecting the topic, narrow down your research into something that you are interested in. Make sure the topic you select is manageable with your time frame, budget, and skill level, and that it doesn't break any rules for the ISIP competition. Number two. Make a research question and title. For example, if you are making an investigatory project in chemistry, you may select the topic about substance in plant that can be used to produce electricity. A simple research question might be, can I make a simple battery using fruits? If this is your question, then the title of your investigatory project is Investigate to see which fraud can produce electricity. Three, design experiments and procedures. Now that you want to find out which fruit can produce electricity, you have to design experiments so that you can answer your research question. Since acids and bases are good electrolyte, one experiment might be testing the acidity of fruit juices using litmus paper or pH method. Next is making simple battery using fruit juice as electrolyte. You will test its fruit battery for voltage and current using multimeter. You will also compute the power by multiplying voltage and current. You will then test if it can energize some electrical devices and compare it to a commercial dry cell battery. In designing the experiment, you will make a research plan for or you must follow the forms required for ISEF competition. You have to make a list of steps to be carried out. You have to make the procedures by yourself or with your group mates.
Consult the following website for forms that may be needed. So we have the Society for Science. So we have the checklist for adult sponsor. We have the research plan, the attachment of the research plan, and approval form. Conduct the experiment. That is number four. Using the procedures you have made in step three, conduct your experiments and record all data in your observation. Include also those things that happened and you think are interesting. Write it in your logbook. Logbook is very important because sometimes the judges ask, ask for it during the competition. Then, number five, write a research paper. A research paper is the formal document of your investigatory project following the IMRAD format. That is, introduction, methods, research, and discussion. It will be used when you present your investigatory project to your teacher or a set of panelists. You can even present it to an international group of scientists if you will qualify for ICF competition. This is the final research paper. The final research paper may contain the following. First, we have title page, then followed by abstract, followed by background information, materials, procedure, data, conclusion, application, recommendation, bibliography, and the last one is acknowledgement. A guide in making research paper will be discussed as part two in this episode. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.